Just a little bit about real estate trademarks. Um, I was talking the other day about MaryNewell.net, which is a website I have talking about the real estate trademark attorney at NAR. And I just wanted to say, yes, there's thousands of websites that use the word Realtor in exchange for real estate agent or real estate broker. There's tons of websites and, and um, magazines and newspapers and even television ads that use the word Realtor, sometimes with the trademark symbol, sometimes not. They use it in place of the word real estate agent. And some of them are realtors, some of them are not realtors. And I just wanted to say a couple of things about that. One was, they say you can't use the word realtor, the trademark, but you know, in ad, Google AdSense, you can bid for the term realtor. So a lot of people do that, you know, like Cobble Bankers and True 21. Is that a trademark violation? Probably not, because those types of companies are actually kind of in, in bed with NAR. I also wanted to say, there's nothing that they can do. They haven't taken these names away from these people. It's been about four years that they've been threatening me and I let go of my names, but these people still have these names. I know in the beginning, I let the names go about a couple of months after they got a hold of me. But before that, they threatened me and I got scared. And so I just shut the name off. So basically what that meant was I stopped it from being a website promoting me as a realtor to work for my real estate consumer. What happened to the site then is it became a parked page. The registrar who, who you buy domain names from, they're the ones who park the page. So you go to the site and there's a bunch of ads on it. So this trademark name is being used by this registrar and people pay like Google or Yahoo or you know possibly even the registrar to be on those sites so somebody else was making money off of those parked pages as long as I wasn't it was good right away Mary emailed me and said thank you I appreciate you doing that I was a realtor right I was trying to reach out to my real estate consumer I had 300 websites with the word realtor in it I was going for it I was trying to be the best of the best and she wiped out thousands of dollars in like two years worth of my work just by lying to me and didn't want me to make money from the names, but it didn't matter if the registrar did or Google or the people that were, you know, getting the money from those clicks on those ads. Probably NAR and Mary Newell didn't know that was what was going on. That's what I'm trying to tell you is the problem. They don't get technology. They don't get the internet. They don't get internet marketing. They don't get who's making money from their trademark or not. They just don't like me because I'm telling you the truth about them. So, check out realestateindustrywhistleblower.com and get to the bottom of the big bully trademark. I mean, this guy that has marynewell.com, he emailed me. I've had several people email me and tell me different things they've said to them. Well, you know, you can't use it because you're not a realtor. Oh, well, you can't use it because you are a realtor. Wait, we changed that, and he can use it, but she can't use it in, well, it's in a lot of books, so I didn't know that, so I'll shut up about that. Oh, it's on these thousands of sites, well, I'm going to ignore that. Now, what'd she say? She said, confessions of a realtor? She can't do that because she's implying that all real estate agents are realtors. No, I'm confessing what it was like to be a realtor a member of the National Association of Realtors, not what it was like to be a real estate broker, okay? But to be an actual member of this higher standards ethics where nobody was held accountable and where I was lied to and, you know, come on, join the National Association of Realtors, which um, I didn't have a choice. There was no broker around to work for that was not part of the National Association of Realtors. So I had to be a realtor, even though they like to tell you it's choice, it's not. It's a monopoly, it's a cartel, it's bad news for the real estate consumer. Check out SavvyBroker.com and RealEstateIndustryWhistleblower.com.